you have nothing to say, you can look up here and find the language to say what you want. Okay, so during turn and talks, during um, shares at the end of the class when we come back to the carpet, I want to hear this language from you. All right, so when you get to the, when we come back to the carpet at the end of the class, I'm going to suggest some of them for you to use. Um, like one of my favorites there, let's agree to disagree. Uh, <coughs> but I'll point you with some of them, and I expect you to start using them more when you're on the carpet. Okay, I still need you to back up a little bit more, okay? Thank you. Now, does everyone, is everyone sitting next to someone they can talk to? So I see two, two, who are you talking to? No, you need a partner. Duran, Daniel, you're going to, you're going to, during the turn and talk, you're going to turn and talk, okay? Ryan, and Gio. Mm -hmm. Tiffany, Stella, sit right here. Now, I got a story for you. I'm going to tell you a story, and then I'm going to ask you how it connects to becoming a journalist and doing research. You may have heard this story before. It's about an elephant and some blind men. If you know the story, just hold by. Here. So three blind men surrounded an elephant, and they had to figure out what it was. So the first blind man grabs the trunk and he says, an elephant is like a snake, right? Long and thin and shaped like this, okay? The second blind man grabs the ear and he says, an elephant is like a fan, right? Wide and, and thin. I can blow the wind with it, right? I can move the wind. And the third blind man grabs the end of the tail, right? The puffy part of the, of the end of the tail. And he says, an elephant is like a broom. I can use it to, to dust, wipe the ash and dust off the steps. Okay? So, what happened in that story? Well, are any of them correct? No, why not? Tell your partner. <laughs> what did Eric say? Right, we have, to, we have to understand multiple perspectives, and in this story, the blind men were only looking from one angle, right? Good. Is that what everyone else said? No, I can see it. That's the same perspective. Yeah, right? No one So, I gave you this example before in, another, in the other unit when I said, imagine that I'm going to write a biography about Gio. Who was my example? Do you remember? You? No, I said, I'm going to write a biography about Gio, right? Now, if I interview all of his friends and his family, the book will look one way. If I interview all of his enemies, if he has any, it would look a different way. If I interview his neighbors, it might look a different way. The point is that as we begin our research to write about a topic, we want the whole story, the big picture. Okay, so that means as we read, as we take notes, we need to think about the big picture. Okay? 
So I've, I've got another question for you. As you continue to read today, even, what might we do to make sure that we are, that we understand one article is one angle, it's one perspective, it's one piece of the bigger picture? What can we do in our notes to help us keep that in mind and grow our understanding of the whole topic? So try to come up with a, a strategy right now that you can use today as you take notes. Turn and talk. All right, so I got a few questions about asking for clarification about the question I'm really asking here. What I want to know is how can we turn our notebooks or how can we avoid having a page of notes about this article and a page of notes about this article and a page of notes about this article and a page of notes about this article? How can we allow ourselves to see the big picture in our notebooks? Fred had a really good idea. Fred? Okay, so he says diagrams such as a T chart. So if you're going to put this chart in your notebook as you read, what might you, how might you label it? What do we think? So remember, we're, we're beginning to read a large amount of articles, right? You've got your Padlet. We've got 25 articles. How might this T-chart help us? How can we label it? Yeah. Subtopics. Good. Like what? So, what I could do with the T-chart, Fred, I think we can make it bigger. Put it like this. Right, and put uh, here we could put maybe types of activism or things that teen activists do. Then we have e waste and girls' education and bullying. So we might set something like this up in our notebook so that as we continue to read and grow our understanding of that topic, we can start to see some patterns here. Over here we might write, we might just use it to keep track of who they are, what's their name, right? How do they, how do they um, fight against these things, like e-waste or, or bullying? What do they do? And they include that here. Right, so something like this. You see on our chart over there, it says pause early to organize information. Okay, the key word over there, and I'm going to underline it, is early. So after your first, second, third article, you should be looking for the big ideas, right? The, the main ideas that come under this main topic of teen activism. So the question we got to ask is, what info what information do all articles include what's being repeated in all the stuff you read okay this is something we want to keep track of okay what ideas are shared by many people and what are the areas of debate where is there like a debate where like advantages, uh, disadvantages. 
Does that exist? Okay. So as you read today, these are the things I want you to think about, right? Because we're going into this not to become experts about girls' education or e-waste or Alex Lynn. We're going into this to learn all we can about teen activism because we want to change the world, right? That's our essential question. How do people, especially young people, change the world for the better? Right, that's the answer we want. Okay, so we gotta go into this pulling bits and pieces from everything we read to answer that question. Okay, as I come around today, I'm gonna be looking in your notebooks to see how we're starting to do that. You ready to go? Okay, so, as you move through the Padlet today, remember to write down. You're probably writing more in this unit than you did in the last while you're reading. Okay? So head back to your seats. I'll be around to see your work.